Hey everyone, I hope this video finds you well. In this uh, installment, we are going to cover the second stage of the Enchanted Rockies Trail that goes from Lincoln, New Mexico to Corona, New Mexico, largely through the Lincoln National Forest, as well as some BLM land and some private cattle ranches. Before we keep going, I would really appreciate it if you would just take one second, press pause, and go smash that subscribe button. Uh, it really helps me out a lot, and it doesn't obligate you to a thing. So please do that if you get if you feel it in your heart to do it. But if you're done with the video, please like if you like it, dislike it if you don't like it, and if you dislike it, please do me the courtesy of telling me why, because I'm doing this as a hobby, and I'm just trying to get better as we go. So, without further ado, let's take a look at some of this video. The first couple of miles of the trail are rolling uh, grass fields, it's BLM land, but that quickly gives way to juniper and pinion forest and sort of a rocky jeep trail. Before we go any further, I just wanted to say this particular trail, or this section of the trail, would be suitable, suitable for any stock high clearance four wheel drive. So if you've got a four wheel drive pickup, or a, a Forerunner, or a Land Rover, or Land Cruiser, or a Jeep, any of that works. If you've got a Subaru, uh, I'm going to say no, but I know that there are some folks out there that really wheel the heck out of those things. There are some rocks that you definitely would be scraping your underbelly on. Uh, but this is this is uh, open for anybody. In fact, if, if I could pull a 3,000 pound trailer through it, um, I just certainly would avoid the Tercels and Priuses, but I do that anyway. I often get asked how it is pulling a trailer on trails like this. Well, honestly, this trail wasn't that difficult, but what it does is it creates another sense of challenge, something to keep your eyes on. Uh, the Jeep on 37 inch tires is sort of point and shoot in situations like this, but with the trailer behind you, you've got to make sure that you're watching the trailer tires, uh, the outsides of the trailers, so you don't clip anything on an inside corner, all those sorts of things. So I, I think it makes it really fun. On a trail like this, it's more fun than just bumping down the road uh, in a vehicle without a trailer. So, towards the end of this trail, or at least this section of the trail, um, I kind of have to take back what I said about anything goes as far as uh, something with all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Um, this last couple of miles, if it was wet, would be a monster 
in something that didn't have high clearance uh, or pulling a trailer. It, again, this, this sort of terrain gets massively slick uh, when it gets wet and there are some steep rocky hill climbs. Uh, so again, just be cautious if you do bring a lower clearance vehicle, even if it is four wheel drive or all wheel drive, make sure that you have a winch or a buddy with a winch. Um, just having a set of max tracks on the roof isn't going to do it in this terrain. Um, you can watch some of Lifestyle Overland's videos to, to verify that. They have had to pull cable on a couple of these hills uh, because of how slick they get when they're wet. Just past this point, the trail turns into wide open ranch roads that go across sort of a moonscape for many, many miles, maybe 50 miles, until you get to the town of Corona, New Mexico, ironically. If you like this video, make sure to share it. Uh, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you feel it, and if you don't like it again, tell me why. Thanks so much, and I hope that everyone is staying safe.